Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. So, amen. Amen. Brother Tom is with you here, and this is a ministry of Jesus Christ. And today, brothers and sisters, a quick look at uh, an interesting text that most of us are, are aware of, at least in the body of Christ. And it's time just to take a, a little refresh, and we're going to key on just a couple of points today uh, as a reminder of these things. And it's from Ephesians, of course, chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to pick it up in verse 10. And this is the whole armor of God, putting on the whole armor of God. And we'll read this and then we're going to talk about just a few key points today. Oh, and amen. This is finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins gripped about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. I'll stop there. In wrapping up his epistle to the Ephesians, he begins with, Brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Our strength is not in ourselves. It is in the Lord. The Lord is our strength. It is in the power of his might that all these things are so. First and foremost, take off the helmet of haughtiness, pride, and recognize the humility of self and the praise and the glory and the honor that is to God. For it is his strength and his might, by the power of his might, that these things are so. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Yes, put it on, choice. You can choose to put it on or not. We highly recommend you choose to put it on. Oh, hallelujah now. And who we're wrestling here? It's not flesh and blood man. This is not about guns and bombs and such. Oh no, much deeper, much more powerful, much more profound than that. We know anything. We don't fear them which can kill the body, but rather him which can kill both body and soul in hell. So deeper than just being able to stop the life of a body. Much more profound, much more eternal is this warfare. It's principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. It's everywhere, all around. It's in government, it's in politics, you know, it's, you name it, it's there. It's there, and that's, that's, that's the real battle. Truly it is. If we're going to do it, if we're going to do this, you'd better put on the whole armor of God. For without his power, his might, his way, Bad news. 
So you better be in the whole armor of God when you start this and when you do this, the way we live today, in the world in which we live today. Oh, there is this is a time to be in the whole armor of God, most assuredly. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. That's our part. Put it on. Trust the Lord. Put it on and trust the Lord. <laughs> stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. Truth, not hearsay, maybe, sort of, or if, but the truth. His word is truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness, have we received beauty to us? His righteousness. It's the Lord's righteousness, not even our own. It's not that we're righteous. But on. God's righteousness, his righteousness, the Lord's righteousness. It's been imputed to us, given to us. He did that, not we ourselves. Having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Preparation. Take some preparation. Have you prepared? Are you prepared in the gospel of peace? Do we know how to give an answer to everyone that asks us of, of the hope that we have? Do we preach Christ crucified? Telling people about Jesus? Oh yeah, all the beauty of that? Prepared, prepared. Be prepared. Above all, taking the shield of faith without with ye shall with bear with ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts. Without you can't, with you can. The devil truly takes pleasure when we either don't know this or we let down our guard on this. When we lay down our shield of faith or let it drop, the fiery Fiery darts will fly. He will take advantage of every moment. When we get lazy and do not hold up the shield of faith as we ought, he'll take advantage. Mm -hmm. But when we do hold it up, uh, we stand strong in the power of his might. Hold oh, that shield of faith up. All, all, not some, sort of, most, but all the fiery darts of the wicked shall be stopped. It's the faith of Christ at work in us. It's the faith of Christ that is our shield. Hallelujah. And take the helmet of salvation. It's a helmet. It's on your head. It protects your head. It's a helmet. Uh, and what is it? It's salvation. To try and enter into any of this not saved, you're doomed. The devil will eat you up, chew you up, and spit you out. This is for the saved. For those who have the helmet of salvation, the protection of being saved, a born again, spirit filled child of God, living under the mighty hand of God, protected by God, carried by God into battle. That he goes before us, beside us, behind us, above us, below us, in us. Hallelujah. And the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit, capital S, the sword of the Holy Spirit is the word of God. Elegant arguments, 
technical facts. It's the Word of God. The Word of God. Oh, and hallelujah. The Word of God. That is the only offensive weapon listed here, by the way. The others are all defensive. What is our offensive weapon? Weapon? Not bombs and stuff. It's the Word of God. It's the Word of God. Amen. This is our sword. It is the weapon with which we enter the battle against all of these spiritual wickedness and evil and perversion and all the names you want to put to it. It's the word of God. And lastly, pray. Not lastly, actually, I it's kind of a step there. We began in prayer, really. We always should begin in prayer, stay in prayer, end in prayer. But in this case, praying with all prayer and supplication in the spirit through the whole process. It's not an afterthought. I think is the point I'm making there. We begin in it, we stay in it, we end in it. It's always pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. With all prayer and supplication, watching where I'm to do with all perseverance and supplication for what? For all saints. Oh, how we ought to be praying for one another. For the soldier to our right and to our left. The soldier before and the soldier behind. For the saint to our left. The saint to our right. The saint behind and the saint before. With all perseverance and supplication one another that we will know the truth stand in the truth wearing the whole armor of God oh that is our prayer for you today that you will put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand stand and see the salvation of God at work in your life, in his creation. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, and hallelujah. All right. Just a few fun thoughts there about putting it on. That is the whole armor of God. In Jesus' holy and blessed name, today. In Jesus' holy and blessed name. Amen.